Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into the iconic 1973 film, American Graffiti, and exploring the cast journey from then to now in 2023. So, get comfortable, prepare some popcorn, sit back, and delight in this captivating video. Number 1. Richard Dreyfuss took on the role of Kurt. He was 26 years of age when the filming happened, and now he is living out the life at the age of 76. Dreyfus married writer and producer Jeremy Rain in the early 1980s, and they had three children. In 2017, writer Jessica Tyke accused Dreyfus of sexual harassment during the filming of an ABC special. Dreyfus denied the allegations. Kurt was a high school senior in Modesto, California, who was about to leave for college. Kurt is a thoughtful and intelligent young man. He is interested in literature and philosophy, and he dreams of becoming a writer. He is excited about the future but he is also sad to be leaving the life he knows. In the end, he decides to go to college, but he knows that he will never forget his friends or his hometown. In the epilogue of the film, it is revealed that Kurt became a writer and moved to Canada. Number 2. Ron Howard assumed the role of Steve. He had reached the age of 19 when he participated in the filming. He is presently 69 years old. Ron Howard was born in Duncan, Oklahoma, the eldest son of Gene Spiegel, an actress, and Rance Howard, an actor, director, writer, an actor. Steve was a high school student in Modesto, California. He's part of the Burger Palace Boys, a group of friends that go on a tour around town on Friday nights. Steve is a nice and popular guy, but he's also a bit shy and insecure. He loves Lori Henderson, but he's too shy to ask her. The ending reveals that Steve has become an insurance agent in Modesto. He is married and has two children. Number 3. Paul and Matt took on the role of John. He had reached the age of 28 when he participated in the filming, and now he is living out the life at age of 78. Lamatt served in the Vietnam War with the U.S. Navy on an SP-5B Marlin seaplane in a maritime patrol squadron. He married Suzanne de Passe in 1978. Lamatt and de Passe have since divorced. John was a popular high school student who is known for his 1955 customized yellow disc coupe. John is the leader of the Pharaohs, a group of teenage hot riders who cruise the streets of Modesto, California. He is also the love interest of Lori Henderson. He is charismatic and confident, but he can also be arrogant and reckless. In the epilogue of the film, it is revealed that John was killed by a drunk driver in 1964. Number 4. Charles Martin Smith took on the role of Terry. He was 20 years of age when the filming happened. Presently, he is making the most of his life at 70 years old. Terry was a shy, clumsy teenager who was often the target of pranks. He is also a dreamer, and he often fantasizes about becoming a successful racing driver. Terry is a close friend of Steve, Kurt, and John. Terry has always struggled to find his place in the world and he has finally found some measure of acceptance and confidence. Number 5. Cindy Williams acted as Laurie in the film. She had reached the age of 26 when she participated in the filming, currently. She is at the age of 76. Lori was a popular high school girl who was dating Steve. Lori is intelligent, independent, and strong-willed. She is not afraid to speak her mind, and she is often at odds with her parents. Lori is also a talented singer, and she performs with the school choir. She is both relatable and aspirational. Number 6. Candy Clark assumed the role of Debbie. She was 26 years of age when the filming happened. Currently, she is at the age of 76. Debbie was a beautiful and popular high school senior who was dating John. She is also the object of affection for Kurt. She is both sweet and sophisticated, and she is not afraid to speak her mind. Number 7. Mackenzie Phillips took on the role of Carol. She was 14 years of age when the filming happened. Currently, she is enjoying her life at the age of 64. Carol was the cousin of Steve and is visiting from out of town. She is a beautiful and popular girl, and Steve is immediately smitten with her. They spend the night driving around and talking, and Steve even kisses her goodnight. However, Carol leaves the next morning without saying goodbye, and Steve is left wondering what could have been. In the end, Carol's character is left open-ended. We never learn what happens to her after she leaves town, and her relationship with Steve is never fully resolved. Number 8. Wolfman Jack assumed the role of disc jockey. He had reached the age of 35 when he participated in the filming. At this time, he is 85 years old. Disc Jockey was the host of the radio show Wolfman Jack's Rock and Roll Party, which is heard throughout the film. 
The disc jockey is never seen on screen, but his voice is heard throughout the film. He is a witness to many of the events that take place, and he often offers his own insights into the characters and their relationships. Number 9. Bo Hopkins assumed the role of Joe. He was 35 years of age when the filming happened. His passing took place in Van Nuys, California, U.S. in 2022 at the age of 84. He passed away after his heart attack returned. Joe was a 21-year-old high school dropout who works as a short-order cook at Mel's Drive-In. He is a charismatic and popular figure among the local teenagers. He is charming and fun-loving, but he is also troubled and insecure. He is struggling to find his place in the world, and he is often at odds with his parents and his former high school teachers. Number 10. Manuel Padilla Jr. took on the role of Carlos. He had reached the age of 18 when he participated in the filming. His passing took place in Los Angeles, California, U.S. in 2008 at the age of 53. Carlos was a Mexican-American teenager who hangs out with the other teenagers in Modesto, California. He is often seen driving around in his 1958 Impala with his friend Terry. Carlos is a bit of a troublemaker. He is frequently seen drinking and smoking, and he is sometimes involved in fights. However, he is also a loyal friend, and he is always willing to help out his friends. Number 11. Paris and Ford played Bob Falfa. When the filming took place, he was at the age of 31. He is presently 81 years old. His films have grossed more than $5.4 billion in North America and more than $9.3 billion worldwide, making him the seventh highest grossing actor in North America. Bob Falfa was a 19-year-old high school dropout who drives a souped-up 1955 Chevrolet 150. Falfa is a skilled driver and a ladies' man, and he often picks up girls and challenges them to drag races. He is also a bit of a bully, and he enjoys picking on the younger kids in town. He is a symbol of the rebelliousness of youth. Number 12. Lynn Marie Stewart acted as Bobby in the film. While filming, she was at the stage of being 27 years old. She is now 77 years old. Bobby was a popular girl in Modesto, California, and she is often seen hanging out with the other cool kids, including John and Bob. She is also known for her sharp wit and her ability to put people in their place. In the film, Bobby is first seen at the local drive-in, where she is flirting with John. Later, she is seen at the school dance, where she dances with Bob Salsa. In the final scene of the film, Bobby is seen driving away with Falfa in his 1955 Chevrolet. Number 13. Mr. Wolf was portrayed by Terence McGovern. He was 31 years of age when the filming happened. At this time, he is 81 years old. Mr. Wolf was the owner of Mel's Drive-In, a popular hangout spot for teenagers in the town of Modesto, California. He is a kind and generous man who is always willing to help out the kids. He is also a bit of a wisecracking philosopher, and he often dispenses sage advice to the teenagers. American Graffiti Film Cast holds a special place in our hearts, and we know many of you feel the same. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel. If you enjoyed the video, please show your love by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Stay tuned for more exciting content. See you in the next video.